Basile. My name is Nima Gyotseba and I'm going to be representing my good friends from uh, Samboda by Lukubi and we're from 10th standards and today we're going to be talking about the hydroponic mode of farming. Uh, why we are talking about this specific uh, farming method is because this wastes little uh, amount of water and water is really important for us. Uh, all of the animals or creatures that live in this planet need water to, for survival. From small creatures to big animals, all of us need water for survival. And when you think about water, you might say that most of the planet is covered with water, but most of it is saline water or uh, sea water, which has a large, uh, large content of salt in it and is not useful for us. Only 2.5% of it is uh, fresh water and drinkable water, and most of it is in glaciers in Antarctica. And you might say that water is replenishable and can be. Uh, come again and again in a cycle, but fresh water can end. It might get contaminated and when you think about it, in one of the future days, water or fresh water might uh, completely run out and there might be no, none left and all the fishes on the planet might die. And that is why water is really important. Point two, uh, we waste a lot of water in our daily uh, life and uh, we don't really think about the usage of water and how we waste it. And first, uh, one clear example is when we uh, flush the toilet, we use a lot of water and flush it. And that is a lot of wastage of water. But I'm not talk uh, talking about stopping or flushing the toilets. But that's not good. But I'm just uh, telling you a specific example that if you think about it, yeah, there's a lot of water wastage there. And that's just only a little bit of example. If you, talk, uh, if you think big in industries, uh, there is a lot of process and one of them that is uh, mainly a uh, reason of water wastage is wet processing in the textile uh, industry or clothing industry where they wet the clothes and for them to be dyed later and all the water that is used there is contaminated and they throw it in rivers which is contaminated uh, later so first of all they waste the water that they use second of all they waste the river so they are wasting two sources of water that is very useful for us and that's very bad. Hi, I'm Slam Hamu and as a part of this group, I'm going to talk about how agriculture affects the world's water and more. We know the importance of water and how it plays an important role in crop production and food security. Agriculture is one of the largest consumers of water and uses 70% of water from rivers and underground for irrigation. Being the largest consumer of water, agriculture is also a cause of water pollution and poor water quality. The pesticides and fertilizers we use in agriculture flows down below the surface of ground, reaching the water drain aquifer and contaminates groundwater, mm -hmm. making it unsuitable for human usage. All this water pollution in future will lead to scarcity of fresh water. The area's aquifer irrigation has also doubled over decades, from 139 million in 1961 to 320 million in 2012, transferring agricultural pollution to water bodies. Nitrate from agriculture is now the most common chemical contaminant in the world's groundwater aquifer. Countries like China and USA, agriculture is the main source of pollution in surface water, groundwater, lakes, streams, and more. Thank you very much. Now, my friend Ngan Hamung will be talking about the model on which we are working for this exhibition. Hello everyone, I'm Nawal Hamu and as a part of this group, today I will be speaking about the usage of hydroponic farming. So, first of all, we all are aware of how the hydroponic saves 90% of water compared to the plants grown on this soil. So, today I'll be speaking about the advantages of hydroponic farming. First of all, as you can see here, this hydroponic farming being the vertical farming, it saves the space and as in uh, urban areas nowadays, we don't have much space. So we turn the vertical farming which is which saves space you know. Now the second thing which I want to say is, in organic farming we talk about consuming the plants without fertilizers and pesticides, but we forget about the minerals inside the soil. Now as we are quite aware of the food chain or biological magnification, where the amount of fertilizers and pesticides increases as we move up the chain. So in order to stop that, we use hydroponic. 
where the nutrition which we put inside the water are only consumed by the plants. So this is the better way of doing uh, the hydroponic or planting the you know, plants. For any living organisms to grow, we need certain kinds of nutrition. So in order to grow the hydroponic, the nutrition which we use are in the form of solid and also in the form of liquid. And to transfer it more easily, we use the um, hydroponic, hydro A and hydro B, which is in the form of a solid. Now I will explain about the working system of this hydroponic model. Now, first of all, the pipe which we have used here is the PVC pipe. And in order, if you want to grow more amount of um, you know, plants, then we can set up more PVC pipe. Now, if I talk about the plant we've grown here, this plant is the chili plant, and this one is uh, a clay, a solid clay. And in order to support this plant, we have put this on clay. So we, have, we don't use soil over here. Now we have switched on the motor and as you can see here the water goes from here and then it moves from here and moves from this side as you can see the water and then it moves from here and it goes down so this is in this way it goes here and goes back into the container and this way and this way how the water recycles and in this way of 90% of water compared to the uh, plants grown in the land. As I've said before, this model is an example of vertical farming. So in urban areas, we don't have much space. So we can use the vertical farming there and it saves us space and that's it.